The introduction of 3D television technology was a major novelty when it first became available, but in the end, it was not successful enough to become widely used. There were a number of issues that had a role in this failure, which ultimately led to these televisions being pulled off the market by all manufacturers in 2017. Vizio halted the manufacture of its 3D TVs in 2014 due to falling demand, which was the beginning of this downward spiral for the company. In 2017, Sony and LG, the last two two firms that were still producing 3D TVs made the decision to ultimately withdraw from the markets. Thus, keep watching to find out why 3D TV is dead and will remain dead forever. The year 2009 saw the pinnacle of 3D technology with the release of the movie Avatar. According to Box Office Mojo, Avatar earned a total of $2 billion worldwide. This makes it the highest grossing picture in the history of cinema. At the time of the film's release in theaters, audiences were given the opportunity to see it in 3D, which was quickly becoming an increasingly popular presentation method. However, many people considered 3D movies to be a passing craze. This was also the case with 3D televisions. In 2010, there was a growth in the popularity of 3D televisions, which was likely due to the success of 3D movies. At the same time, however, people were starting to upgrade to HD TVs, and the majority of people did not want to spend more money on the 3D versions of similar products. This, in conjunction with the fact that 3D 3D television was fundamentally impractical since each viewer required their own unique pair of glasses, led to the rapid extinction of the technology. The use of spectacles in order to see content on a 3D television was one of the most significant drawbacks of these televisions. On the surface, this may seem to be nothing more than an annoyance or a barrier, but in reality, the situation was far more complicated. For their 3D televisions, manufacturers of 3D televisions would employ one of two distinct kinds of 3D glasses. One type would include active shutter lenses, while the other type would use passive lenses. In the beginning, the majority of 3D TVs relied on active shutter glasses to produce a sense of depth. These glasses operated by rapidly closing either the right or left lens, depending on which eye you were looking through. According to an explanation provided by Digital Trends, the fact that these glasses were awkward to wear, pricey, and riddled with technological faults caused prospective customers to shy away from purchasing them. By the time passive lens glasses were made available for use with 3D televisions, many customers had already lost interest in the technology. The killer feature was that 3D televisions designed for active shutter lenses could not be seen with passive lenses, and vice versa. Another major drawback to purchasing a 3D television was the realization that the 3D experience just could not be replicated on a smaller screen. The screens on 3D TVs were just not large enough to accurately duplicate the illusion, which led many viewers to be soon disappointed satisfied with the technology. It was just not worth the expenditure to purchase a 3D TV, glasses that would operate with it, as well as 3D-enabled Blu-ray players in order to actually view 3D movies, since the quality was so subpar. Thanks for watching this video. 